What is our next topic today? All right, next one is from Mike. Hey, John, so producer Lorenzo D. Bonaventura recently said that a sequel to Transformers The Last Night is being developed as well as a sequel to Bumblebee. Why would they continue the Bay Transformers movies if The Last Night bombed with critics and disappointed at the box office, especially since they've shown with Bumblebee they are capable of doing a much better job? The question, Mike, is not why would you do another Transformers, like a Transformers 6, a sequel to Transformers 5. The question is not, why would you do a sequel to Transformers 5 when you've already kind of relaunched a new universe with Bumblebee? The question is, why the hell would you do a sequel to Transformers 5 when you've just rebooted the the, the franchise so successfully with Bumblebee? Bumblebee was exactly what this IP needed, all right? It was a break from it. It was a little bit questionable whether it was a reboot or not. And then recently, they kind of made statements saying, yes, this is the launch of a new story of a new universe. Well, so Bumblebee was going to kind of be used as a reboot and all this kind of stuff. And great. You had to take a movie like Bumblebee to repair the damage you have done to this property with crap fest after crap fest after <laughs> crap fest Transformers movie that you squatted down and shite it out into our mouths over the past number of years. You ran this thing into the ground, which should be an automatic billion dollar franchise every single time because it's the Transformers. You crapped out crap, 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 crap. And then finally with the last night, the audience clued in and said, hey, you tricked us every time with fabulous marketing and fabulous trailers and then we've gone and been disappointed over and over and over again so finally the last night comes out maybe the worst of the bunch and that's saying something and it took a massive plummet in its box office returns to the point that when bumblebee was coming out a lot of us said bumblebee's gonna have a hard time because not only does it have all the challenges that a movie on its own face is trying to be successful it's going to have a hard time because it's also fighting a massive uphill battle trying to fight against all the crap and garbage and dead weight and issues that come along with it. All the baggage and now come along with the Transformers name to the audience. It's got to fight against all that and it's going to struggle at the box office. Well, guess what? They put out a fabulous movie in Bumblebee with a fabulous director in Travis Knight and they completely rehabilitated the image and the perception of Transformers again giving us something with heart with character development on top of spectacle and action and all that kind of stuff and the movie actually ended up being profitable Rob like I, I just didn't think it was going to be possible for that movie to right. be profitable no matter how good it was but it was so good and had such good word of mouth it actually ended up being profitable. You are on the yellow brick road. You're heading in the right direction. For Lorenzo de Bonaventura to come out, who is great, by the way. I love Lorenzo de Bonaventura. Mm -hmm. he's, he's a creative, imaginative producer. I don't love every movie he puts out, but he's, he's a creative, imaginative producer who does some really quirky things. For him to come out now and basically kill any of that moment and going, yeah, you know what? Maybe we can do a sequel to... Uh, uh, follow up on some of those big narratives we got going in Transformers <laughs> last night. Why the hell would you do that? I, I can't even imagine. You ran this franchise into the ground going in that direction. You've got yourself back on with good footing going the right direction. You actually got Bumblebee to actually be profitable. Why would you go back? Rob, I'm I'm begging you. Tell me here. What are they thinking? Why would they do something? This? Now, it's important to point out that he only said we're developing something. Ten movies go into development, but only one out of those ten ever make it in front of a camera. So just because he says they're developing, that doesn't mean it's going to happen. But why even think this? Why even play with this idea, Rob? What are they thinking? Well, <clears throat> look, I think that the, the Transformers franchise, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of franchises that reinvent themselves. Like, as a Godzilla fan... Mm. There is multiple Godzilla continuities. The James Bond franchise, when Daniel Craig came on board, they went back and showed James Bond get his 00 status. And the and the, the Craig continuity is a very tight Bond continuity, but it's different than the other continuities, and you can still enjoy those films. Bumblebee was sort of a reboot of the Transformers franchise, and they can go ahead and continue on that continuity, and people will still enjoy it. They get the concept of what Transformers are, just like... The Nolan Batman movies are different than the Tim Burton Batman movies, but people still know Batman. And I think if they come up with a look, like you said, by the way, I wish I was sitting next to you when you were 
when you do your rants, it's great because you can feel the energy is palpable. But but um, and I agree with what you said because the Transformers movies I have not loved. But if you figured out a way to take all of that gobbledygook mess and figure out a way to use that continuity and weave in an interesting story and maybe change up the style. I think one of the problems with the Transformers movies is Michael Bay's style. It's sort of brash and crass and loud and banging, but why not make more of a, I hate to say it, a thoughtful science fiction film <laughs> within, <laughs> within that continuity and, and, and change it up. Maybe it could work, maybe. I mean, it would take somebody really creative to do it, but I think the Bumblebee franchise, that version of the Transformers, if they continue on, is a new Transformers continuity that will give people what they really want and restore the luster that the first film brought to that franchise. Well, uh, yeah. I, <laughs> Look, Hope I, Springs I, Eternal, I, man. It's just it so confusing to me. It's like you screw something up and then you find a way to fix it and immediately start thinking, maybe I'll go back. It's like dating a horribly, terribly toxic person, finally getting out of that relationship, dating somebody who's pretty nice, and then you start going, maybe I should give the ex a call. Why? Stop! Stop what you're doing. And that's what that's what it feels like Paramount has we're doing. Maybe we should call our ex. Well, maybe your ex uh, gave epic action scenes. Yes. So you want to go, you want to, you, you know, if you, if you want to make that, that analogy, your ex had really great action scenes to give and you want that as far as your film goes, but what you need is more compassion and a better story. There's a new Robert Meyer Burnett t-shirt. My ex gave epic action scenes. <laughs> so there you go. 